Hey everyone, this is a follow-up to my last video regarding the major changes to 2b2t that the server owner made alongside the 1.19 update. The reason I'm making this is because the owner gave a long response to my email when I asked for a refund of my priority queue status. So for transparency, I'm going to share his reply and my response to it. Hello, Salsi1. This is the same owner as always. Oh, really? After spending so much time on the server over the years, you decide that only now, when the server is more vanilla and anarchy than ever before in its existence, you're disappointed? May I know a more detailed explanation of your decision to feel betrayed, and if you can point out the specific changes? More vanilla and anarchy than ever? Give me a break. For my response, I simply linked my last YouTube video, as it pretty much had mostly all of my grievances that I would have otherwise had to write. He then later made this response. So let's go over every point of this email. The reason it took such a long time to update the server to 1.19 was because of the development of a server that would allow for hundreds of players at near flawless single player conditions. It was not due to trying to make 1.19 itself work. The work is now ready to update to 1.20 and later versions faster. You're misconstructing the rule made to prevent players from abusing exploits or game mechanics to cause server lag. Other exploits such as duplicating is still allowed while possible until fixed. The way this rule was written simply doesn't line up with what you said about duping to begin with. In your explanation about the 1.19 update, you said that various duplication exploits have caused significant damage to the server. In my head, this meant damage to the server equals server disruption. Makes sense, right? And server disruption can mean many things, not just lag. So if this is really the case, the wording of these rules is flawed and should be fixed. Now, wait a sec. I just had to say rules. For an anarchy server. That's right guys, it's more anarchy than ever. Chunk trimming was not done due to the large world size of 23 terabytes. It was written to point out how much of the generated world is filler chunks causing this extremely large size. There was further detail on which chunks are called which you chose to omit. Okay, so if it wasn't for world size reasons then, why delete those chunks? I don't care if they were loaded and unloaded instantaneously due to someone flying over them with hacks. This was the exact reasoning I mentioned in my last video, as it has the possibility of creating island bases with all new chunks surrounding it, making them near impossible to find. And it's not just this. There have been reports from some players that old chunks are being deleted dangerously close to spawn, which really shouldn't happen. That now brings up the question of whether the chunk culling removed too much. But what this all really comes down to is that this shouldn't have ever even happened on a server that advertises that it doesn't reset. The soft item reset was done for the first time since the server launched and will not repeat. It should be clear with the timescale involved. Sure, being upset about this is understandable and it was decided with that in mind. I still believe it was for the server's better health going forward, and as you again choose to omit, these items will quickly come back very quickly into circulation between players due to their ease of obtaining with farms, and the millions that remain on the server. Okay, listen. I didn't choose to omit the point that those items would go back into circulation. That's obvious. In fact, I don't even care about the items themselves. I only care simply that you are making the decision to remove them on a server where that's not supposed to ever happen. If you're allowing the duplication of items, then stand by that statement by not removing those items in the first place. The cat's already out of the bag. If you did it once, why wouldn't you do it again? A dupe happening in 1.19 would likely cause tremendously more what you call damage to the server than anything from 1.12. And no, you can't create enchanted golden apples with farms. Unless it was back in 1.8, where you could, and players did, only to have them all removed because of your update. But I'll let Fit talk about that one. Player Obfuscation. This is to make things fair between players as intended by the vanilla game. You are not supposed to know this information. I can understand the reasoning behind it, but like I said in my original video, I don't think it's necessary, especially given that if another dupe happens, everyone will have max armor and weapons anyway. Oh well, is what it is. Green text was only used for spam and advertisement spam. It was time to let it go. I mean, it was just a text color. Anyone could use it, advertiser or not. But it was a unique staple of 2b2t that is now gone for some reason. Precedent. As explained above due to the timescale and being done for the first time ever, there are no plans to edit items in the future, and it was made only possible because of the data changes made between 1.12 and later versions. 
There are no plans, you say. So if another dupe happens, do you then plan on that? There's really no way to know at this point. I still stand firm that what you did sets a precedent, especially given 2B2T's new branding as a survival server, rather than an anarchy server with no rules. And don't go making excuses that it was only possible when updating to 1.19. I'm sure that if you really wanted to, you could do this again. It is misleading to say that a huge portion of the player base believes the changes are unreasonable. The mentioned players are a vocal minority. Is that really so? How about we just go over to your own Reddit page? And for the posts you deleted, the 2B2T Uncensored subreddit. How about the multitude of YouTube videos showing players' distaste for the update? And a Discord server filled with over 2,000 people fighting against what you did to the server? Yes, I'm sure there are also many people who actually do like the update. And that makes sense in a way. Making the server balanced appears to be a good thing, but that's only if we don't consider that 2B2T has a history going back to the very beginning of being anarchy. I'm just saying, balanced isn't supposed to be anarchy. It's very childish to direct your viewers and community to commit forced chargebacks. If you do not like a game or a game server, it's more than reasonable to quit with a loud opinion, but throwing a tantrum and telling your players to attempt to charge back for your cause is not. This entire statement is completely false. I told my viewers to ask for refunds, not chargebacks. There's a clear difference, and I specifically didn't say chargebacks as I wanted to give you a chance to respectfully give refunds to players that got a different product from what was originally expected. I really hope you're honoring those refunds because I still didn't get mine yet. I'm sorry that you decided you're not happy with this update. I wish you had played on the server more before making your decision. Well, I'm sorry you had to make this update many times worse than 1.12. I'm not playing on your server anymore because it's pointless. 2B2T's future doesn't look promising. There is no reason for me to play on a server being run by an owner who can suddenly decide to change crucial gameplay aspects that were never expected to be made on a server of this age to begin with. I wanted my last video to be it regarding 2B2T but I had to make this one to respond to this email as I believe the public should be aware of this. All right, I'm done now. I wanna focus on something else. I'll see you all later.